hello guys and welcome to this introduction to css so if you're on this video i expect that you either know html or you have taken a course on html okay um so css basically is stands for cascading style sheets okay and it was created uh, and is being maintained by the guys at w3c w3c simply stands for worldwide web consortium um, you can check that up um, you can just google it um, but essentially what css does is that it defines the style and the layout of your html page okay now essentially styles include things like color font size you know background color the spaces between elements and there is even animation that can be done with css okay um so uh, basically css is a must if you are going to go into web development okay so now let's talk about the structure of css syntax um if you took a html uh, section then you know that this is a paragraph tag okay and in an html document if you want to um, add a paragraph you need to wrap it around an opening and a closing paragraph tag okay now the concept of styling your html elements with css um, simply is um, for example in this particular example we are going to look at the css syntax to make this paragraph appear red okay so essentially we need a selector and in this case we are selecting the paragraph tag which stands for p right so this p is the selector in other words it looks in the html document for a paragraph tag and when it finds it it applies the style that is declared here okay now when you you know put in your selector then you need curly braces okay so there is the two curly braces the body opening and the closing curly braces and within the curly braces there is a property and the value so in this case what we want to you know style in this paragraph tag is our color we want to change the color to red so hence our property is the color of course on the right side of the color is the value we want you know to apply so in this case we want to make the text red all right of course within the property and the value between the property and the value there is a colon that separates it and after the value there is a semicolon that ends the statement so essentially this is the syntax for writing css okay we'll go over it again so we have a selector in this case our selector is a p which is a paragraph tag and we have a declaration within a curly braces containing a property and a value okay in this case the property is the color and the value is red so basically this is how we write css right so now let's look at the result so the result of applying this style to this paragraph tag is this so our text would appear red instead of the regular um, black All right let's go on now there are three kinds of CSS, okay? CSS is classified into three types based on where the CSS code is written, okay? And the first is inline CSS, the second is internal CSS, and the third is external CSS. Now, I would not want us to, you know, go into explaining what they are in this presentation. So, in our next section we're going to look at the different types of css and we're going to see it practically with our code editor 
So thank you so much for choosing to take this course on CSS. I'm sure that at the end of this course, you'll be able to design a very good looking website. All right, let's get into it. Thank you.